Hello Capricorn, welcome to your mini love reading for April 2023. Please take what applies to you only and if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So my lovely Capricorns, my favorites of all time, what do we have for you and your person? What is the overall energy here? So we have set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. And Capricorn, don't y'all always have a plan? I mean, I feel like y'all are the most together of the zodiac signs. Um, always very uh, stable and secure in your thinking, very logical and grounded and practical. Um, so this could be a message straight for you, right? To kind of set your course or envision what it is that you're wanting to manifest. And, uh, and yeah, like make those wishes, especially Especially before we are officially in eclipse mode, right? Um, I know right now the energy is getting a little bit heavy with Mercury retro shade and eclipse season looming. Um, but this could also be about your person, right? Capricorn, maybe they're getting a little bit of that fire under their arse, okay? And uh, they're being encouraged by spirit to set some goals, to, to look into the future and see a little bit of a trajectory of where they're headed, okay? So what what is going on in regards to their thoughts? Oh gosh, that flew out. Um, literally slapped me in the face. So we've got the strength card. <laughs> literally the strength card smacked me in the face, y'all. So this person is definitely aware of how strong, how resilient you are. Um, they also could have been holding back a little bit, right? Tempering their feelings if they have very strong uh, pull or desire towards you. But um, the strength card is also about courage and confidence. So, you know, this could be something that you inspire within them uh, and they're very aware of it. Okay, definitely a strong connection between you and your person. So uh, what is it that they are currently feeling for you? Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all. Oh, we, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this person feels like you are their everything ship, okay? You are their legacy. You are their ultimate, um, their ultimate security and stability in the long term. This person sees a life with you. And I love how Alice is comfortably uh, cozied up on this large chair. It's giving relaxation. It's giving peace, okay? So I think this person definitely feels that way when it comes to you. And speaking of peace we also have the six of swords so I do feel that this person could also um, be pulled towards moving away from some sort of toxic connection that they're involved in right now or situation I should say um, and they feel the need to to gain that peace to maybe save their peace or sanity even. Um, but this is a card of moving to calmer waters, right? So uh, ultimately, I think this person is feeling the need to leave something toxic behind so that they can go full throttle into the future of this Ten of Pentacles with you, okay? So speaking of the future, what does this person desire? What is something that they want in regards to you, Oh, we actually have two. So interesting. Both of these cards popping up in the reverse, but we've got the three of wands and we also have the seven of swords. So once again, I do feel this person is trying to break away from something. This seven of swords could be confirmation in that this person is trying to strategize away. Okay, you can see the way this man is looking over his shoulder as he's leaving all of these tents behind. He's making an escape, okay? This person is trying to escape without getting caught or without getting hurt. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of... Um, an omission, I think, uh, of maybe a truth that they have been avoiding, okay, maybe something they've been lying about in regards to their safety um, or their environment, but they've been manifesting this for a long time, okay, Three of Wands is a card of patience, ships slowly coming in, things aligning, so your person's desire is to make this great escape um, and to, to manifest in a new direction, in your direction, okay, so this could definitely involve a third party energy, um, your person needing to walk away from another relationship, uh, get out of a karmic situation, all of those things, right? So um, let's get one clarity card here. 
one clarity card here for Capricorn. The Hermit. So, so yeah, I think this person uh, definitely is going through some enlightenment, right? You can see he's going off on a trip deep into the forest and saying goodbye to Alice over here. So your person could be in a very deep hermit state right now, trying to figure out that way, um, trying to connect with their higher self and doing things from a place of integrity, right? Because this person doesn't want to lie. And, and that's exactly why the Seven of Swords comes up in the reverse they don't want to be dishonest they don't want to have to be a shyster okay they want to be able to go off on their journey and separate themselves um all the wiser and having learned lessons not because they had to screw someone over or be a liar okay so i think this person right now is struggling with their integrity they want to leave they want to make their escape but they have to find the proper way to do that and so here we have the hermit okay going within trying to figure things out um, and getting in touch with their higher self, okay? So what are some messages for you, Capricorn, from this person? What does this person want to say to you? There's one. Here, what's the first one? I'm insecure and confused about what I want, okay? So, you know, obviously this person, like I said, still needs to figure some things out. I don't think they're confused about wanting you. I think they're confused about how they want this walking away to go down, okay? I think they want to sort of strategize a little bit more. I know we are very deeply connected, okay? So they feel that bond with you. I feel terrible for ignoring you. I'm just not ready for the next step, okay? So again, this person is still waiting for certain things to align before they can move to the next level here with you. And, you know, maybe they have ghosted you or kept you in the dark uh, at certain parts of your journey, but they don't feel good about that, okay? And again, going back to the Seven of Swords in the reverse, they don't feel good about having to be dishonest, okay? Or about or having to omit certain information in regards to their journey, okay? And for Finally, we have, if I leave the karmic, I'll lose everything. Will you still want me then? So I think this person um, is having a little bit of a struggle, um, again, about leaving behind that situation because they feel like they wouldn't have anything to offer you if they did, okay? So hopefully that resonated with someone out there. Um, and of course, if you would like to book a private reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. As always, Capricorns, you know I love you the most. I hope you stay safe out in them streets and I will see you again soon. Bye.